everybody. This video is will it sell with no silicone and I wrote it down because if you're like me you listen to videos without sound. Um, at least I usually do because I'm in public or something and so I don't listen with sound and if you're not listening with sound you're not going to know why this video is any different than my other recent um, pours where I've used the plastic wrap. Lots of people are shy about using silicone um, for a myriad of reasons. And I think a lot of it has to do with the cleaning afterwards if you're going to resin because that is a factor and a pain in the ass. Um, so I've been asked if this works without silicone, and I have no idea. So that's what we're going to do today, is find out. So I've got my deep yellow, which is not wanting to soak up. These pipettes, I just ordered more. They're super cheap. You get like 150 of them for, um, I think, $9. They're on my Amazon list if you're interested. Now I'm going to go to my violet. I'm just having so much fun with these pores. The cells are so cool that I'm really enjoying them. And we shall see, as I said, if we get cells without silicone. I am going to say no, it will not be as stunning of an effect. But I've been surprised before, so... I don't really know. Now for some orange. And now for phthalo blue. Almost to the end, I was not thinking and just sprayed varnish on a painting before I got started doing this one. So I feel like I'm being asphyxiated <laughs> right now. It is really stinky. So now I'm using my white paint, which is my house paint, Floetrol and water. Um, it has no silicone, but since I cover my other one with white, I figure I'm going to do everything, everything the same. And the plastic wrap I'm using is plastic off of a canvas. So it's not like cling wrap, but I do have a bunch of cling wrap and I am going to try it with that just to see how it works. All right, so type in right now under the comments, do you think this will sell or not? Yes or no? And then we'll see who's right. Oh my gosh, it is selling up. Small ones. Let's see what happens when I torch it. Okay, so it is not it is not the big juicy cells that the other gave. And right here it's more of a blended kind of look. So 
it's pretty, but it's definitely not what I would have liked. Um, so yes, I'm going to officially state on the record that you need silicone to get the effect that I have been getting. You can see little white cells are starting to pop up, but they're not the big colorful cells that I was getting. Um, and it just kind of lacks a meh. So I'll probably let this dry and I'll repaint over it. Um, torch the rest of it. So let me take my gloves off. Um, ow, I just stepped on. I have so much stuff. So I'll take you over here to the one I just varnished. <clears throat> well, it's kind of wet. It's hard to see. But you can see it's giant juicy cells. And then this one is not. And that is a more kind of watercolor effect. So yes, you do need silicone. And I'm so glad I figured, or that somebody was asking me, many somebodies, so that I did this experiment. I will catch you all next time. Bye.